Hi, it's Rachel here from Offroad CC, and today we're in the woods talking to Mike from Calibre, and they've got a brand new bike out, which is called the Sentry, um, which we are really keen to ride, and we'll be doing that straight after this. Um, but at the moment, Mike's going to tell us all about the new bike. So take it away, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the bike in front of you is uh, the Sentry, and then we have one model above this, which is the Sentry Pro. Uh, same frame, just utilising obviously the next level of kit. Um, that comes with it. Um, both bikes are basically designed to be one thing and one thing only, which is fast. Uh, we really wanted uh, like uh, EWS out of the box was kind of what we had in mind. Yep. So literally take the bike out of the box, pump the tires up, build it correctly, and then you know you could ride and race it without having to change any parts and stuff like that. Yep. Um, it's been nearly two years so since we kind of decided we were going to Yeah, we've been talking project. about this for a while, haven't we? Um, but we just wanted to make sure that we got it right. Um, also, a small team as well. So uh, with that comes, you know, sort of, uh, you know, a lot more shared workload. So, yeah, um, yeah it's, um, you know, but uh, we're really happy with it now. And, um, yeah, can't wait for it to kind of be out in the stores and underneath yeah. uh, people who are seeing the enjoyment, really. So. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, we've tested the Bosnat. And I know that you and I have had conversations before about you love the fact that, or that's how you aim the Bosnat, is people getting people into riding and then being their first bike and enjoying mountain bike for the first time. And then they might upgrade their Bosnat or move on to another brand, which I don't think at the time you said it's fine with you but now they've got something else yeah, they can move on to can't so, they yeah something else they can move on to also I just think you know sort of a, a, you know uh, I like racing I'm not saying it's the, the, the you know something for everybody but yeah. it's, uh, it's something I'm quite a competitive bloke um, and it's sort of like something I saw at the races where you know the cheapest kind of in, or the, the enduro bikes that people were riding was like five thousand yeah. pounds and i was just like well I, you know if i didn't work in the bike industry there's no way on earth i'd be able five thousand so, pounds five times my um, car <laughs> yeah you know so it, it would literally be kind of uh, you know it would be one bike that you would have for a long long time so it what was one of the kind of starting processes of this bike was could we make a, any you know an enduro or proper enduro worthy bike for a price point that isn't going to break the budget um, yeah, break definitely. the bank um, so all the time in our head was uh, £2,000 uh, which is what this bike uh, with the Go £5 discount card is yep. um, so you know th that was always in our head was that's what we got a push point um, like I say the pros a little bit more and that's more of a just to showcase the frame is really worthy of upgrading yep. um, as as and when you if you bought this one it would show that that bike is worthy of upgrading putting the higher end bits and pieces on yeah. so it also gives us something for our team riders to ride and race so um, we've got Chloe Taylor yep um, so she's our first year in uh, EWS uh, elite female category yeah, so. I checked her on Instagram she looks like a shredder <laughs> oh yeah she is quick <laughs> um, and she's you know really stoked on the bike which we're super happy with and then we've got Ali Barron who's uh, a guy that's been riding uh, on Calibre for a couple of years now helped us a lot of videos um, at university in Sheffield so he's going to be riding as, as and when he can in between cool. sort of thing and helping us out with videos he's just a really stylish rider um, and uh, and then also Simon Perger mm -hmm. Uh, for a French slope style rider uh, he's also got one as well so we're really intrigued to see what that mix of skills yeah. on an enduro <laughs> bike is going to bring to to the mix if you see what I mean so That's cool. there should be some interesting videos coming soon of those guys and girls uh, yeah riding. definitely so, so yeah. you've been working for two years do you want to got some prototypes with yeah. you do you want to talk me through yeah, how it developed <laughs> So, like I say, we started sort of uh, nearly two years ago, um, and we sort of had an idea of what we wanted to create, and we had a sort of a series of specifications it needed to be, and geometry in mind. We rode a lot of other people's uh, brands bikes, yep. um, and uh, there was like maybe three or four that we kept coming back to as using as a mainstay um, of what we liked and, and a component parts of those yep. um, so the short offset forks on the bike for instance mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, you know something we found and tested with rock shock and really kind of uh, loved the feeling of it yep. um, it sounds daft but it really does make a massive difference especially on the, the 29er okay. um, with such a slack head angle but yeah this one's quite a funny one to begin with um, so this is effectively where we got to in our 3d CAD drawings and then we effectively had like writer's block <laughs> um, we just really lost kind of uh, our, our track of what we wanted and what we wanted to look like. Um, so I just pushed the button and we got it made, even though we knew it wouldn't ride and okay. it, was, it was unrideable. Um, but it, and it enabled me, I'm, I'm one of these guys that likes to have like something physical yeah um i can kind of really see and you can see i've written all over it get your hands on it yeah spilt coffee on it <laughs> <laughs> you know drawn pencil drawings so that really kind of uh with myself and and johnny taylor who's my graphic designer who was yeah. actually really uh, a big help in this um and also other members of the team just kind of gave us a starting point to uh 
to kind of progress from because like I say we really at this point were kind of stumped at what we were going to do so so um, getting yeah. something tangible in your hands helped yeah massively yeah so we enabled us to just kind of kickstart the project again and, and kind of move from there yeah. uh, we went then to kind of these two combined I suppose <clears throat> Okay. So this was kind of prototype two, the front triangle, but pretty much instantly when we sat on it, we realized the effective top cheek was too small. Right, okay. Uh, it, when you were sat on the saddle, you felt like your knees were on the handlebars. So um, what happened, you were really steep with a seat tube? Yeah, it was just like kind of a combination of a few sort of ge uh, geometry sort of that, that didn't really work. So, okay. you know, trial and error is, you know, sometimes the best way. Yep. Um, so we, we still rode it. Um, the reach numbers and the head angle and the, uh, the BB heights were where at this point we thought we wanted it to be. Um, so in terms of actually riding when you were out of the saddle it was okay. Um, it was just on you were sat trying to pedal up the hills. It was fit weird. So that didn't last too long. Yep. <clears throat> then we moved on to a new front triangle which had uh, a much better kind of uh, um, effective top tube numbers and as you can see this bike got very well abused. Um, <laughs> so Ali Barron, uh, Takata Morzine, he raced student nationals on it. Um, you know, I did a lot of riding on it as well, and um, you can see that he broke a bolt out in Morzine yeah. and <laughs> rang me up and was like, Have you got any spare bolts? I was like, Well, it's a one off, so no. <laughs> I was like, Go and find a hardware store and make do. Um, we got it working again, my looks Yeah, like. yeah, it, it, you know, worked and, uh, you know, kind of uh, it did its job and just enabled us to make some more tweaks. And then prototype four and five are actually still running at the moment. Okay. So uh, Sam Taylor, our photographer, he's on prototype four and Ali Barron until the new bikes arrived this week uh, was on prototype five. So they're still up and running and all they really were were um, the correct tubing, but all of the, the forged uh, parts were CNC'd. Um, so um, it looked identical, but obviously didn't have quite a, the same strength um, as the forged parts do. So um, yeah, cool. Um, and then this is the finished article. Great, so do you want to talk us through this bike, go spec geometry, it's pretty progressive. Like. Yeah, uh, so this is size small for yourself. Yep. Uh, this is also what Chloe's uh, riding in size small. Okay. Um, so head angle, I suppose, you're starting at a 64 degree head angle. Um, so it's, you know, not far off of a downhill bike no. at the moment. And 29 er wheels. 29 er wheels, and then like I say, the short offset fork as well. So that really kind of creates uh, more stability uh, when you're kind of really kind of getting this bike to go as fast as, as it possibly can um, so it really helps and then uh, stops with the wandering as well when okay. you're on the climbing yep um, so reach wise on this small you're at 445 mm -hmm. uh, and then it goes up in 20 minute uh, 20 millimeter increments so f uh, 485 uh, and then 505 I think for the, uh, the XL. for the XL yeah. um, you've got fairly long uh, chain stays at 445 uh, and then uh, the BB height is uh, 335 so again low but again you know with the st low standover height and that sort of slack head angle and long back end really brings you into the bike mm -hmm. um, and enables you just to kind of charge um, and you know just feel confident down pretty yeah. much anything. <laughs> um, so test riding wise you know the, the bike I say has been ridden by uh, sort of uh, Ali Barron, myself, we've uh, did Ard Rock, Ard Moors on it, uh, took out to Whistler um, you know and it just kind of goes to show, I suppose, I sold my downhill bike <laughs> to take to go <laughs> to, to Whistler, this. and I took I took my Century to, to sort of to the bike park if you nice. see what I mean. So, um, so I think on the small as well, like it's a four twenty mil seat tube, isn't it? Seventy six yeah. degree effective seat yeah, tube angle, is that right? Yeah, seventy six degree seat. They're all seventy six so, degree seat angles on, sweet. on the bikes. Should be pretty efficient. And four four five chain stays, if I'm yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then I suppose one of the, some of the key kind of things on this bike. Uh, You've got the NX Eagle group set, so yep. it enables you to kind of get the, to climb up to those uh, um, heights. Yep. Uh, we worked heavily with Rock Shock on the Shock Tune, um, okay. so we did some test days in Avan mm -hmm. um, with those guys, and they really helped me out uh, making sure that the Shock Tune was um, perfect for this bike. Cool. Um, it's a you know 
just a really honor to work with those guys in all honesty they're so intelligent it made my life a lot easier <laughs> um, we use the guide re brakes so again using the old code um, uh, caliper so mm -hmm. you know once you've got this bike up to full charging speed you need to sometimes get it to slow Bring it down. Back down again <laughs> um, core dropper post uh, handlebar um, and then on the tires we're using uh, WTB and they're the tough casing tires so mm -hmm. again one of the things that I saw on a lot of high-end bikes um, that they were using kind of like uh, a, a mid level kind of uh, supporting tire mm. uh, to keep the weight down but mm -hmm. if you're going to try and ride that bike or race that bike in the way it's supposed to be doing you're going to flat it, it or trail. rip it off the rim or whatever it might say yeah um, although they're a bit heavier uh, they're literally straight out and you can go and okay. ride it and race it over the rockiest gnarliest stuff and they'll give you a lot more uh, security than yeah. a, a, a sort of a lighter weight carcass do you know how much this bike weighs this bike? Uh, this one's 16.2 uh, in the large okay. without pedals in the and large, then yep. the pro is 16.7 uh, um, because it uses the coil over rear shock mm -hmm. um, so uh, it just adds a bit more weight to that yeah. so. So we've got Yaris on this one and then RockShox Deluxe Shark, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so on the top end bike, you get a Lyric. Lyric RC2 RC2. fork in, in the red. Uh, yep. You're also nice. getting the, uh, the, coilover, uh, the Super Deluxe coilover okay. with the remote lockout. So okay. you've got the uh, twist grip lockout at the bar, mm -hmm. um, as used by uh, sort of a, a lot of VWS professionals. Uh, Rumour has it Cecile Ravenel uses it in corners, which I've tried and could not get. I just didn't corner, basically. Um, <laughs> Too much like on doing that yeah. not cornering. Um, you get a reverb GX Eagle group set okay. slightly uh, higher end WTB uh, rims with the ASIMs yep. um, and that's, ultimately yeah sorry go on <laughs> yeah ultimately the bike's the same so and that's uh, 2.8 that one isn't yeah, it yeah that's 2,800 um, and again we've got a sort of a limited amount of those um, uh, you know uh, if you kind of think where we are with a boss nut um, telling the bosses at, uh, at work that I basically want to triple the price tag um, you know was a scary moment for them so, yeah definitely uh, but in terms of this bike we've got uh, it's going to be in all the go outdoor stores uh, available internationally online as well mm -hmm. um, and we've got uh, you know a lot of them so yep. yeah um, so although we're filming this long before the release date because I'm gonna have a couple months of riding this yep. um, if today is the 21st of March, you yeah. said the 21st, <laughs> can people buy them today? Uh, they'll be out, uh, probably at this, as it stands, they'll be out in about a week afterwards. So okay, not long We've shown them at the London show, so if you want to come and see it uh, in the flesh, yep. uh, both bikes will be on display at the London Bike Show. Cool. Um, and then uh, they should be in uh, stock about there, basically. In so, all stores? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Right then, we're going to get this set up for me and go have a ride. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Cheers, man.